What is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Callie. If you haven't already, please subscribe below. It really helps me, helps this channel, all that good stuff. So one of my most commonly asked questions, because I'm a soul cycle instructor, is how do I clean my workout clothes? Or like how do I get the smell out? How like because obviously soul cycle is a very, if you didn't know, it's a very sweaty class. It's a place where you get really disgusting and the sweat sits in your sports bras, your leggings, your socks, all that stuff. Uh, especially for me, like sometimes I have to like take off my sweaty clothes, then go to another class, so like it's in my bag for a little bit. It's just nasty. And I have tried many things to get stink out of my clothes or make sure stink doesn't go into my clothes because some clothes like are just too far gone at some point. And I've actually found a way to like get rid of that smell that's already there and also just the way I treat my clothes. So I'm gonna walk you guys through that whole video today, that whole process, I mean, in this video today of how I clean my workout clothes. But I do wanna shout out to The Laundress because I've been using their products for a while now and I'm just like being straight up with you guys and they are helping me, like they're helping like sponsor this video. They sent me a lot of stuff for it but it was stuff that I was already using and testing out. So I reached out to them being like, hey, like people keep asking me about this and like I would love to like collab so we can like do this together type thing. Because if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I have been using their sport spray forever and I've also been using their sport detergent. But when searching ways that I need to get smell out of my clothes, I found vinegar a lot. And then I found that they have a sport vinegar and I was like, we need to team up together, so like, let's do this. So they were so kind and let me show you. Also, I will have a code for you guys in this video for you guys to use to get a discount on laundry stuff. But I want to show you everything first before I show you like the process. Okay, so they sent me my wash basin, which is so amazing because you need one of these. Um, so here's the sports spray that I was talking about. It is literally the best you like spray on your clothes post-workout. Um, I've definitely showed this in videos before. So this is literally a crucial staple that you need in your gym bag. Like as soon as you take off your clothes, spray it with that. Um, this is just the Fabric Fresh. So this is something I asked for separately. Um, you can like spray your couch with this, you can spray your car, you can spray your bed. Like this is just more so like an air freshener for keeping linens and things fresh. This is for stains, so this is like a little set, so it's like a little stain bar. Um, I thankfully haven't had to use this on workout clothes yet because I wear a lot of black, but this is just um, for getting out those disgusting, you know, nasty stains that we all hate. Okay, so here's the sport detergent, which I have used, it's so great. Um, for all your nasty workout clothes, basically. It says active wear and swimwear, so it's delicate enough, which I like. This is also for stains, so you can use that with this. Removes old and new stains. I haven't, like I said, I haven't had to use any of the stain stuff yet. Um, the scented vinegar, which we will be diving into, and then this is just their regular detergent, so. I love both of these. Mainly what we're gonna be using today, well, what I've already sprayed on my clothes is this. And then we're gonna be using the vinegar and the sport detergent and the wash basin. Also, what I love about this basin is it has like a stopper so you can just drain it easily instead of like, you know, the mess of pouring everything out. So, here we are. And another thing that I wanted to say about why I love the laundress so much is because they're like an eco-friendly brand. So they're like environmentally friendly and I just, they have like clean products and I just appreciate that when it comes to like chemicals and things that I'm using in my house and things that I'm using a lot and things that I'm using in my clothes. So I just really appreciate that they're like an eco-friendly clean cleaning brand, you know? All right, so to be honest, it depends on the day for me. So sometimes I like to soak my clothes and sometimes I just add extra vinegar to my laundry depending on how much time I have. But today I have time, but I wanted to show you guys. Usually like when I have like enough to put in this bin, so not one outfit, not two outfits, probably like three or four, which is like two days for me, I'll soak it in warm water. So I'll just fill this with warm water and then I'll put a quarter cup of the scented vinegar in there and then I'll let it soak for about 30 minutes. So what I'm gonna do today is I actually might let it soak for an hour or like if you're like in a rush or something, you can use a full cup of this and you can put it in the actual washing machine. But because I also like add some of Will's clothes to the washing machine, I like to soak my clothes first. So I'm gonna use this in the wash basin and we're gonna get this show on the road.
So in here is literally just leggings and bras and some underwear that, yes, I ride in underwear. Is that like TMI? I don't know, I think it's gross when you ride commando. I know a lot of people do, but I don't find that comfortable. And I'm just going to add them into here. So, I have a good amount of clothes soaking. So I added just a little bit more of this in there. Um, so it's usually like a quarter cup, but I probably have like about a third cup in there now. So I'm just gonna make sure, yeah, I mean, I can smell the vinegar right now. Whew. And they're just soaking, soaking, soaking. So 30 minutes, but like I said, there's a good amount of clothes, so I'll probably do like an hour, and then I'm gonna come back because I don't think over soaking hurts them. I've done it before, so it's fine. Um, and then I'm gonna throw them in the laundry and show you step two. So essentially step one, get something to put your clothes in, fill it with warm water, put the scented vinegar in there and let it soak. So because I work out so much and because like I wash my clothes a good bit, um, I go through product pretty quickly. So I have a code for you guys if you also are like me and you wash your clothes a ton and you need to get that stink out or prevent it from happening. So you can use code Cali for 25% off and this is gonna be valid for a full week. So if you're watching this video and it's a week later than that, I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, so use code Cali. I'll have the link in the description, all that good stuff. So I'm just gonna let this soak and then I'm gonna show you guys what I do when I put it in the washer, how I dry my clothes is also, I think, very crucial to this whole process. All right, see you then. All right, so I'm back inside from laying out for a little bit, and it just got cloudy, which is kind of annoying, but perfect timing. So I'm going to drain my clothes and then put them in the washer and show you guys what's next. Okay, so now that they're all drained, I'm gonna take this into my laundry area. I don't have a laundry room. So in our bedroom, we just have our lovely washer. Literally, nothing hard, just put everything in here. My biggest tip for leggings is I always wash all of my leggings inside out. I don't know why it is. I know at Lulu, they really like suggest that you do that. So I do it definitely with all of my Lululemon leggings. Um, but I do it pretty much with all of them and when I take them off and I'm like super sweaty and gross like that's the way they come off anyway so Here's the sport detergent And um, so it says that for like stuff that already has like a ton of odor or um, Cotton things you should wash with hot water, which I almost always wash everything with cold water But since testing this out with like my leggings and my workout clothes I have been using warm water and then it says wash all other fabrics in cold water. Um, oh, sorry, wash all other fabrics in warm or cold water. So it's like whatever you choose. So if it doesn't really have a smell yet, you're totally good to use cold water. So if machine washing turned items inside out, which is what this says, but it's just funny that I've been doing that anyway. And um, to avoid shrinkage, la 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 la. So you can hand wash them. You can do um, two different types of machines. It says HE machine, regular cycle, non HE machine. Um, Wait, time out. I need to see if I have an H. What the f is an H machine? All right, so because my um, washer and dryer are not like high efficiency, I'm gonna end up using eight capfuls of this. So I'm just gonna do eight capfuls and then dump it on in. I have to do this like over top the thing. So basically, cap, squirt it in. That's four. Oh, another thing I love about the laundress is that it just smells so good. Um, and another thing I've been doing is I've also been adding a little bit of baking soda. Don't, don't ask me why. Like I said, I've been testing different things. Let's just add that. I'm not even gonna get a measuring cup. I'm just gonna kind of throw it in there. Just a little bit of that. And then all you have to do is, so I'm gonna put it on warm, warm cold. And then I always do the auto sensing. And then the last thing is I always, 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 always wash my workout clothes on delicate everything. So light delicate and then there she goes. 
And then lastly, I'll show you guys how I finish out all of this. Um, it's basically a certain way that I dry all my clothes to, or mainly my leggings, because my leggings I think are the things that smell the worst and the things that people ask me the most about. So far we've used the sports spray for after my class, and then we'll use the wash basin situation with the scented vinegar, hello, hi. And then obviously we'll wash it with the sport detergent and that is pretty much what I've been doing lately and it's made me a lot happier when I put on my clothes or when I finish class and don't smell my clothes. So I'll show you guys the drying process and I think that's gonna be it. Okay, last step. So washing is done, so now all I need to do is take all of this stuff out, put some of it in the dryer. Oh, lovely, there's stuff in the dryer. All I'm gonna do is take out all of everything. Everything's gonna go in the dryer except for my leggings. I do not put any of my leggings in the dryer ever. So um, you're definitely not supposed to be drying Lululemon leggings, but I just do it with all of them. So let me take all those out. Actually, I'll put my lily bods and my coral leggings in the dryer just because they fit me a little bit baggier than some of my leggings. So I put them in there so that they, um, can just get a little bit tighter. But none of my Lululemon, none of my PE Nation, none of that stuff ever goes in the dryer. And then I take my heap of leggings and I'm just gonna hang them on my little drying rack. So there's only five on here right now. Um, depending on the day, depending on how long I wait, I usually have like anywhere from five to 10 leggings I feel like on that drying rack. So I just like let them air dry. And that's pretty much my whole process. I'm gonna sit down. Whew. The scented vinegar definitely really, really helps with the stench for sure. So a few things that I like really give credit to keeping my clothes lasting longer and keeping the stench away. 100% the Wondrous Sport Spray. Um, if anybody, every time I use it in the bathroom at Seoul, people are like, what is that you're using? So the Wondrous Sport Spray is great. As soon as you take off your clothes, spray it with that. It goes a long way, this smells so good. So obviously like after I spray it, I take it out, I soak my clothes so with the scented vinegar. So definitely, definitely, definitely check out the vinegar if you're really looking to get stink out of clothes or make sure, or you're just trying to prevent it from happening. And then obviously the sport detergent when I wash my load of laundry and that's pretty much it. I also realized that I didn't say this before about the sport detergent, but like the main reason that it's specifically a sport detergent and different from their signature detergent is because it's like a line made for people who sweat or like perspire. So like it was specifically designed for like performance wear or like active wear. So essentially the sport detergent was just made for people who sweat or people who have, you know, body odor or odors getting in your clothes or oils are getting in your clothes. And not only does that work for like sport wear and active wear, but also works for swimwear for like getting salts and chlorine and stuff out of your swimsuits. So I also just like wanted to include that in there because I was like a little distracted when I was like putting everything in the washer. Like I said, use code Cali for 25% off for one week. So starting today and then it'll last through next Wednesday. That'll be one week of 25% off all their products for you. And yeah, I hope this was helpful for you because people ask me this all the time. They're like, oh my God, you work out so much. My clothes stink. What do you do to keep that from happening or to fix it? So there it is. Vinegar is pretty much the trick and taking care of your clothes, air drying your clothes, really washing them inside out. I also think just keeps your clothes lasting longer as well. Um, so I believe that is everything. So. If you guys like this video, give it a good thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe below. And uh, head over to my Instagram, it's just CalFitLife. And I think that's it for the, today. So I will see you guys for the next video. Bye. <laughs>